Did you know that keyboard shortcuts will save you an average of eight days a year, according to Brainscape? And as tool-driven designers, probably even more than that. So in this video, we'll look at 15 Figma shortcuts that will definitely save you tons of time when designing. And make sure you stick till the end because you don't want to miss any of these. Now, let's get going. All right, everyone, so before we jump in, if you haven't subscribed or liked, I would highly appreciate it. Now, today we're gonna talk about shortcuts. We're gonna talk about shortcuts when it comes to resizing, alignment and zoom, layers, copy and paste, and then some bonus goodies in the end. Let's start with resizing. This one is awesome. You can scale any element in Figma. And I mean scale anything. So typically, if you try to scale this, if you just hit shift, you're just gonna scale this frame, the containing text frame here. And if we try to scale this, we're just gonna scale the outer frame. Now, what if we want to scale it all? Well, then we hit K and we just resize the frame and you resize everything within it. Then we have this one, which is about keeping your element centered and still resize all sides simultaneously. So what you do is you hit Shift Option or Alt for Windows and then you resize the frame. So if I would just resize this normally, you can see how it stays according to the constraint settings here. If I want it to be centered, like I said, we hit Shift Option and then resize it stays in the center. All right, over to alignment and zoom. So if you want to align two or more elements quickly, you can hold down Option or Alt for Windows and use A, S, D, or W. So if we target these and hit Option A, we're gonna align it to the left. If we hit Option D, align it to the right. Option S to the bottom, Option W to the top. Then we have align elements vertically and or horizontally within their frame. So this is a bit different. If we place this in the bottom right and I want it to be aligned vertically, I hold down option and I hit V or Alt for Windows. If I want it to be horizontally aligned, option or Alt, H. It's that simple. This one is cool. Zoom into targeted frame. So if I zoom out like this and I hit Shift 2, we zoom into this frame. We can even take this, shift two, or this, shift two, or this, shift two. Then we have zoom out to full canvas, shift one. Then you'll see your full canvas with whatever you have on it. Okay, let's zoom into layers here. You can copy and paste layer styles. This is a game changer. So option or alt plus command or control plus C for copy or V for paste as usual. So if we go to this frame, which is a bit darker than this, and I hold down Option Command C, Option Command V, we paste that style of that frame. I can do the same for this button, Option Command C, Option Command V. Over to this one, Shift Fills and Strokes. So if we click into this and I hold down Shift X, we'll look here, you can see how we shift these. So the fill color goes to the stroke, the stroke color goes to the fill. Select deepest layer. So usually if we have an auto layout like this and I hover it, it's just gonna give me a target for this full auto layout. If I wanna target this avatar though, I could hold down option or control and now I target just the deepest layer. Maintain layer position on drag. You might have run into this where you have an auto layout and you're grabbing an object and you're kind of, you want it to go somewhere, but maybe not into this specific auto layout. So I take this input and it tries to place it in here. And this can be quite irritating, right? So in order to avoid this, we would target our element. We would start moving it and then hold down space. And now we're free. All right, copy, paste. Duplicating things in a sequence. So if I copy this, so hold down shift option. This is not the thing we're showing here. I just copy it like that. Now, if I hit Option or Control plus D, it's going to duplicate the thing in a sequence with the same distance to the previous one. Copy elements as PNG. This one is newly found for me and it is a game changer. So if we take this vector object and we hit just Shift, Command, C, you can see down here that it says copied as PNG. Now, if we go into this, hit Screen, hit Command V, it is now pasted as an image. All right, over to bonus goodies. So here we have the quick menu in Figma. 
And here you use command or control plus P or forward slash, depending on what kind of keyboard you have. And then you get this quick menu. You can search for menus, commands, and plugins. This is really awesome, it saves a bunch of time. Then we have hide Figma UI, and I use this all the time. You might have seen it in my tutorials. So I just hit command and colon, or on a Windows, control plus colon. Then we have rename in bulk. And this is also a newly found shortcut for me that changes the game. So we have these cards, they're called frame currently. I can target them all and hit command R and then I can rename them to whatever I want to from here. So let's say card, boom, all of them are now called card. Now, what are your favorite shortcuts in Figma? Let me know in the comments below. Now, until the next one, take care, we'll talk soon, ciao.